So nice to be here, really deeply. Great, grat uh, great, uh, <laughs> great gratitude to uh, to beloved and to all of you. And thank you, Terry and Nicola. It's amazing uh, every time I'm to move from one community to another and to just feel so at home. To to just arrive in Bolinas and be welcomed by friends, and it's like it's it feels like it's the house that I'm living in because uh, I'm living with community in the south of France. And I feel there is no difference. There's uh, just this welcoming, this ease of living and being that just uh, pervades my experience wherever I go. And so that's, yeah, that's just beautiful because it's, uh, it's a life that, uh, that I always wanted and that I, I wasn't sure how to access before, before I met the Four Mainstays. Um, I did the empowerment about five and a half years ago, I think, yeah, early 2014. And, um, yeah, when I did it, it, it struck me, but as well, it uh, kind of awoke, in a way, my awareness of my data. And so it was really quite afflictive. And um, it's not until a, uh, a little bit after that that uh, I had a, quite a tragic event happened in my life where I realized that um, I hadn't been really uh, committed to the mainstays, and I, and I saw it as the only solution, really, for, um, for that grief uh, that was going on. And, um, and I just knew that uh, it was the solution that I'd been looking for. So I really went for it. I went uh, to India, uh, to Goa. And um, yeah, and just being really there with community, it really um, spoke to me, to my own ability to be okay as I am. And that's not something that I'd been able to really uh, experience before and um, yeah I stayed the, the first time in Goa I stayed for about five weeks and just every day going through the training was just for me the most amazing experience and it really it really um, what can I say yeah I think since I was a teenager I'd always wanted to to contribute to the world and in in my best ability and all that I was uh, yeah, able to give but I really didn't know how. And I think when I was in, the, in India at that time, I realized that I was going to, from now on, I was going to be able to, by, by keeping on showing up, to really give everything that I was uh, to, to the world, to, to every situation that I encountered uh, fully and truly, um, while letting myself be as I am. And that, that was a big revelation. And that was the time as well that I started uh, being on the transmissions. And from then on, the, the commitment just uh, really grew naturally. And, um, and um, yeah, it, it completely changed my life. Um, when, uh, when Candace spoke about spontaneous existence, it's really how I feel these days. Um, I've just been in the U.S. for a couple of weeks, uh, visiting with uh, my American family, and, uh, and coming now to, to California, which is a place where I lived um, 15 years ago. All kinds of memories come back from that time and past, uh, past romantic love and all kinds of things. And I see just my ability to just really let everything be and to have just great clarity about all these uh, phenomena, all this data, which I didn't have before, which I really would, uh, would go after each, each data. Like it was the truth, like it meant something so so important, and that it had to be followed, and uh, it had to be understood, and it had to be checked out, and and uh, it's amazing now to be able to live this way, to really to let every single thing that occurs, and let it be, and really just continuously wanting to to benefit um, wherever I go, and um, yeah, so that's uh, that's really nice. Um, yeah, it's quite, it's quite special to be here, to be in Bolinas, uh, in, the, in the center of, uh, of Balance View, it feels the, the headquarters and the, the heart center in the world. Um, and um, yeah, I just know, yeah, I just know that uh, this is yeah, the commitment for the, for the rest of my life, uh, really in a deep way. And, uh, Everybody's commitment all the time and is, is always very inspiring to me and what I want to do. And um, yeah, I also love how um, gifts, strengths, and talents are really encouraged and developed uh, within Balance View. And that's something for me that's been really 
really, really um, important. Um, since I was a teenager, I was really passionate about filmmaking and movies, but I always had a lot of data that uh, I was just not good enough to, to do it. And um, since my involvement in Balance U, I've been able to really go for it and go for uh, filming and created my own small business in France of filmmaking. And uh, if, yeah, I've just constantly, constantly received so much uh, empowerment in that area which is, yeah, something where I can express my, my um, beneficial qualities uh, and activities. And that's been so empowering because, yeah, basically for 20 years in my life, I was just constantly telling myself that I wasn't good enough. And to be able to receive such empowerment from so many beings um, has completely changed my life. And also I work with, uh, with teenagers and, and kids in this area in filmmaking. And I see how that's what I want to convey to them as well, uh, their own ability to do anything they want mm -hmm. and to really, to really go for it. And that's, that's really what, I've, um, what I feel uh, is the, one of the biggest gifts I've gotten from Candice is this ability to see that nothing is impossible, that really, really everything is possible. And that's quite amazing because it is, in many circles, a sentence that's quite powerful, but often a bit intellectual. And uh, but really, in the context, in the context of the four mainstays, it's it's a reality. I see it so much that yeah, we we can really accomplish uh, anything, and especially together as uh, as communities around the world, it gives a wide open view of what we can accomplish uh, on this planet. And for me, that's yeah, that fills everything that I could ever want or or need. And I'm, yeah, I'm so grateful to Candice and, and all of you and everyone uh, that takes that commitment. I think that's good. Thank you. <laughs>